chief meteorologist Jamie Simpson, have any of you seen this image on Facebook showing what appears to be two moons in the sky? Maybe you've seen this circulating in an email. This is actually two moons from Saturn, by the way. Maybe you've heard. Will the moon be as big as Mars? Will it look like this? No, it will not. The truth is it's a hoax first circulated back in August 2003. And at that time, uh, Mars was the closest to Earth in a long, long time, thousands of years. Then again in 2005, 2007, also hoaxes and is rumored to happen again at 12.30 a.m. on Tuesday. Well, what will you see? Well, the moon and Mars will be very close to each other in the sky, but Mars will only be about 1 140th the size of the moon, and it's all about the distance from the Earth. This is about how they'll look on that uh, night and in pretty much any other night. The average distance of the moon is 238,000 miles from Earth. Mars is a much larger planet. In fact, Mars is bigger than Earth, but at its closest, it's at 34 million miles. So if you do look outside up in the sky at that time, should look more like this. Never seen pictures like this before from NASA. Amazing video of what looks like tornadoes on the sun. Signs of the heavens and the earth. And what we're seeing is that these events continue one after another. There's been a lot of buzz over the last few weeks about strange sounds being heard in the atmosphere. People around the world and here at home have reported hearing some bizarre noises. Some strange noises heard around the world the last few weeks from Arizona to England and right next door in Manitoba all showing folks alarmed by what sounds like a noise straight out of a science fiction flick. watching a scary movie. The background noise gives you the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Strange, mild sound. Coming, seems like it's coming from the sky, anyway. I've heard that Jesus is coming back. I've heard that it's 2012, the world is ending. This phenomenon stretched beyond North Battleford. Similar experiences were reported in Saskatoon, northern Saskatchewan, and parts of the U.S., even in Europe. That we are in the birth bank. Something is going on. We are in unprecedented, uncharted wars. A terrible mystery gripping the world right now. Birds, fish, and all kinds of creatures just dropping dead. For the second year on New Year's Eve, birds are falling from the sky in Beebe. A mystery in Beebe, Arkansas. Birds falling dead from the sky on New Year's Eve for the second year in a row. Wildlife officials say... No one knows how these dolphins died, but hundreds have been found on beaches in Chiclayo, Peru. At least 260 dolphins washed ashore across a roughly 60-mile stretch of beach. Officials aren't sure what happened to them. An event like this is particularly unusual, 
because dolphins aren't normally found in these seas. Everywhere you look, you see the carcass of a dead turtle. Small turtles, large turtles, dozens of them dead and scattered along the banks of Smith Lake. The birds just started falling from the sky. This is really weird. Hundreds of birds literally just dropped from the sky and then landed on I-95, bringing traffic there to a crawl. But earlier today, a lot of confusion and concern when birds which were flying in the sky started to crash to the pavement. There were hundreds of them. Never ever in my life have I seen anything like this. Crazy. Totally crazy. Never seen. I, I travel this all the time. But I, I haven't heard of anything locally like that ever. Birds, fish, and all kinds of creatures just dropping dead. Couldn't figure out what the heck happened. Never seen anything like it. Something strange has happened in the skies above Britain. Police throughout Scotland and the north of England received calls of a bright light streaking across the sky on Saturday night. But these images over Harrogate, but there have been sightings across the country from Scotland, Wales, the north, right down to the East Midlands. It was what observers are calling one of the best meteors ever seen in the UK. The object was seen as far south as Devon and may have landed in the English Channel. Dozens of viewers have said they've seen a massive bright light in the sky in the last few hours, with most claiming it was a meteor. You'll be hearing a lot about this next item over the next 11 months, but astronomers have identified a new asteroid about 150 feet across, which is headed our way and may come so close to Earth that it will pass between us and the satellites orbiting in space above us. There's some debate in the scientific community about whether a direct hit is even possible. This is called 2012 DA-14. They say this will be the closest past of an asteroid in the history of tracking such things. And again, while this pass is supposed to miss us, the experts all say there's nothing wrong with making sure your affairs are in order. So should we be nervous about this all right, whole well, thing? Well, this is a serious story because the latest round of solar flares captured in this incredible video. Take a look at this. It's from NASA overnight. The bursts that you're seeing there, charged particles erupting off the surface of the sun. And we saw an even bigger solar flare Tuesday night. Right now, all of those particles are racing toward the Earth, as you said, about 4 million miles per hour. And it's growing as it gets closer to us. On top of that, the problems will arise when the flares reach the Earth's magnetic field, apparently. That's when we could see mass power. It's like a cloud of birds, but a giant cloud. It's really creepy. It's kind of like, is the world coming to an end here or something? I mean, it's really, it's scary. And the whole sky will fill up with black birds. But it's crazy. It's, it's scary, ain't it? How many do you think? Oh, like a million. Get the key. It's like we're being held hostage. Held hostage in maybe a three mile radius by black birds. When it comes out, it sounds like rain coming down. I mean, literally, you, from inside of our apartment, you think that it's raining outside. What a sight this is. Thousands of dolphins swarm a whale watching boat off the coast of Orange County. You're looking at hundreds upon hundreds of dolphins breaching out of the water. The unusual spectacle was caught on tape. trying to figure out what caused that flash in the sky in the Northwest Valley. It happened this morning right here. If you haven't seen it, here we go. 
during Andrea's traffic report. Look, we're going to slow it down for, for you right there. Look in the background. Looks like some kind of very bright light, almost like it was an explosion or something. Our first thought was maybe a transformer. But we checked with APS and SRP. They said they haven't had any trouble. We haven't had any reports of any explosions either. Here it is one more time for you in slow-mo. So it is still a mystery. Here it comes.